Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, once again here with this spicy hot package from a guy named Garrett. And uh, you may not know him as Garrett, that's his name, uh, but he's the man behind Bridgeport Knife Company. And this is a knife I've already unboxed on the channel, but this one's mine. Knife Company, uh, this is his first design. I've done videos, links to somewhere. Link, link them, future me. Link, link the videos I've already done on this knife somewhere. Uh, I fell in love with this. A really great, affordable uh, option. New design, his first design, I believe. And this is the final delivered product. Kara uh, did his stickers. Don't need that anymore. So, uh, yeah. If you bought one of these, you get some, uh, some Tri-State River Valley Creation stickers. Look. Sticker, stickers, we have stickers. Nice, just kind of a simple jewelry box here. Uh, I believe this is the final packaging. Love that. Stickers came out great. Just a simple black box. Let's pop her open. Whoa, more stickers inside. Lovely, you gotta love it. You'll love to see it. We got a Dum Dum, and it comes with a T8 and a T6 Wii bit. Okay, if this is how these are delivered, are you kidding me? Value for money, hello? These are like, what, 100 bucks? 120 bucks, maybe? Full tie? What? You get two Wii Hobbits with this knife? And candy? And stickers? Take notes, knife manufacturers. What are we doing here? I need candy and tools with every new knife purchase. And a Band-Aid. My dude's over here hooking it up. Got a really nice microfiber cloth here. Beautiful. Really big, chonky, thick. That's, ooh, yeah. And there's the knife. So I did opt for the one with the black hardware. The one I had in for review had the stonewash hardware. So let's get that baby out of there. So this is the Bridgeport 395. Uh, just a clean, simple, affordable titanium EDC knife, man. It really doesn't get better than this. Clean, simple aesthetics. I love it with the black hardware, the black clip. I think it's a really nice look. Really nice jimping, fine, really fine tooth jimping that comes way out the length of the blade there. Uh, decently thin blade stock, so good and slicey. Black coated uh, standoffs as well. It's a good look. Let's flick her open. Ooh, beautiful. And is that a nice hollow grind? What? Is it? Or am I having a stroke? I think I might be having a stroke. I think it's a nice flat grind. But either way, nice tall flat grind here. Stone wash, uh, blade finish. I forget the blade steel, man. I just did a video on these knives and I forget at, like a lot. I forget everything pretty much immediately. Please forgive me for being a fool. Um, we do also... I can't tell if the jimping's different than the one I reviewed as well, than the prototype. Uh, I'm not sure. But action, ooh. Ooh, is better than the prototypes. Wow, nice and snappy reverse flick. Thumb flick's great. Super smooth. Running on a set of ceramic bearings. Nice jimping on the liner lock there. So really easy to get a hold of that. Close it. Oh, makes a good noise. Makes a darn fine noise. I just love this. I think it's it's clean. It's simple. It's not going to scare anybody. It's a small knife. You know what I mean? It's just a very practical little tool. But it's also nice. Well put together. Well made. Just a sleek slender design i dig it it is technically a liner lock with titanium scales but i'm all for it man not the heaviest thing in the world not the biggest thing in the world just simple elegant beautiful i dig it so in hand even though it's not huge fills the hand nice choke back we have a decent choil here so you can get right up behind the edge for more control pinch grip all day decent amount of lubrication from the factory i'm all for a decent amount of lube you know and that factory edge is screaming sharp, dude. Sheesh. Dude, the action is like a, a drastic improvement from the prototype. But to be fair, I got that prototype right at the end of the line. So it had kind of been kicked around and tossed around. A bunch of crazy YouTubers were farting around with it. Knowing lefty, lefty probably took it apart. You know, like a clown. Who does that? Who does that? But this is nice. If you got in on this pre-order, man, you are... Uh, 
I'll count yourself lucky. Count your lucky stars. You done good. I approve. We ought to cut something with it. I want to test the true factory edge here. I am, dude, I am almost out of phone book paper. You believe this? The hell? Let's give her a curse slice real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Money. All day. All day. Every day. Beautiful. I'm, I want to say these are 14C28 in. I'm almost positive. Almost positive on that blade steel. I can't remember. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me, Garrett. Money. No issues, dude. That factory edge is dynamite. Dynamite. I love it. The Bridgeport 395. I'm a big fan. I will link uh, his Instagram in the description as well as his website. I, I'm sure there are more of these coming. This was just his first design, um, his freshman effort, and it's excellent. Really excited to see what else he has in store for the future. These are awesome. Just a clean, simple EDC that you can dress up, dress down, or beat the hell out of, man. I'm all for it. That is it for me. Plenty of pictures on the Instagram as always. Check out Kara's Instagram as well. Links in the description. I love it. I'm pumped. Garrett, thank you so much, man. I hope this, I'm glad to see the stickers came out well for you. They look great. They look dynamite. Kara, whoop, Kara killed it on this order that we thought got lost in the mail. We almost had a heart attack over, but you're doing the Lord's work, my friend. That is it for me. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye now.